Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Thursday. It's pizza day. <laughs> and I was getting ready this morning. Actually, it was when I was getting ready to take Will to school. And I thought, I was using like a couple of things, and I thought, I need to tell him about this. And then when I got in the car, I said, yeah, I'm going to do some funky faves today because it's like all over the place. It's not going to be just makeup or just hair or whatever, skincare. It's just a lot of different funky little things that I wanted to show you. And my hair is slicked back. I do not like my hair like this, but it is so dirty because I have a hair appointment today with Morgan. And so that is, I didn't want to wash it before I went there and got it washed and everything again. So let's just start with these. This is a new pair of sunglasses. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen them, but they are Gucci. They came with this fabulous velvet case and they're dirty, but I love them, love them. Let me go clean them real quick. So here they are and oh, I'm gonna wear them today. I just love everything about them. I love that they're kind of like a simple aviator, but they're oversized. I love that you can see through them just a little bit. Um, they're not really a gradient lens, so it's just a different, it's not quite as glam looking as my other Gucci ones that I have like this. I just feel like these are kind of sporty and I just love them. I wear them sometimes, like I always say, I like having sunglasses like this so I can run in a place and run out and not feel like, I don't I feel like when you can see someone's eyes, it's not quite as rude. And um, I just love them. They're super, super light because I, what made me get these is I really like, and I will list these down below too because I really do like these. I love my classic gold Ray-Ban aviators with the amber lens and the 62 millimeter. That is just such a classic, fabulous pair of sunglasses, but they are heavy. And they might not bother you as much as they do me, but I have this little skinny nose, bony, skinny nose. And after a while, things just start digging in my nose. So these, when I picked them up to try them, I bought them at Oliver. And the good thing is, guys, I have that code, 15% off, that you will probably never get, I mean, unless you hit some kind of crazy sale from Gucci sunglasses. And so, and it's good for the whole website. And so I grabbed these when I was there, looking at sunglasses. It was between two pair. Another pair were round with like these a little, it almost looked like pink rhinestones, but it was like pink enamel. Those are still on my mind. I, at the time, I thought I was going to the reward style conference. As you can imagine, that has been canceled or postponed. To me, it's been canceled because they postponed it until August. And it's right when Will is starting school. And he is older, he will be fine. John can handle it, but if you're a mom, you know, you don't want to be gone right when school starts. So anyway, I bought these thinking, you know, I was getting some cool accessories for the conference, but I love them anyway, and I wear them all the time. So I wanted to show them to you. Next thing I'm going to go ahead. Okay. Let me just start from my pile over here. This is going to be funny, but I love my Giza sheets. <laughs> And this is from the My Pillow guy. And if you watch TV, you have probably seen him on there advertising for these sheets. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I am crazy about different kind of I love my pillow. I'm real funky and love, you know, a really cool pillow. And I love good sheets. And I've told you in the past I loved um, the Bowling Branch. I've got the, another expensive brand that I got off of Gilt. I can't remember. If I can remember, I'll put the name down here. And of course, I've always liked um, Tommy Bahama, but these, oh my goodness. These are like everything you love about a set of sheets put into one. They have that percale type weight like you know like if you go like that you can actually kind of hear it and it just has that good weight they are big but not too big i think it's my bowling branch that really hang over the sides of the bed a whole bunch and i have to tuck them in they are smooth but yet they still have a cottony feel they're not like real slick feeling they are just perfection i got a set we got a set for christmas and then it was buy one get one free and so we gave a set to my parents. They love them also. They love them better than their bowling branch. 
And so Will needed a new set of sheets for his bed. And so we bought him a set and then got another set of, for us for free because we had gotten to the point where a lot of times John will help me make up the bed. You know, I'll say, come on, let's wash the sheets and then make up the bed, you know, like on a Friday night or something. Cause I love having like fresh sheets for the weekend. And a lot of times, well, every time since we've gotten these, we don't like put another set on that I already have folded up and clean. We take those off, wash them, and then put them back on there. So I thought it would just be worth it to tell you guys how much we love these, and I think they're worth a shot. Another favorite, I meant to show you this new one to you last week, and it just, it was too much, so I didn't, but I have enjoyed reading it all week, and um, I thought I would show you this old beat up one I have that has been all around the house. It looks like it even has like toothpaste or something on it. But I love this style book. That Nina Garcia has a set of three style books. This one is the 100. And it's got just like 100 pieces that you should have in your wardrobe. I love the drawings. They're just, let's see if I can find my favorite one. She's a redhead, curly redhead. I always see, I love this picture. But just if you're ever like wanting a little inspiration, I just love reading these style books. And these are just, I mean, old concert t-shirt, one piece swimsuit, and then she tells her favorites, pajamas, uh, peacoat, pearl necklace, perfume, plain white tee, and it shows how to put, um, you know, just like a, a brooch or something on a plain white tee. And I mean, it's nothing like new, but it just gives you good ideas when you um red lipstick let's see where is that girl that i always see when i open up this book signet ring silk scarf so it just kind of goes through the alphabet and trench coat tuxedo jacket here it is i always love this picture i just think that's so cute and so I've always loved these two books. So I went ahead and ordered the last one. And I was thinking, I don't know if this is going to be good for me because it is the style strategy, a less is more approach to staying chic and shopping smart. Well, it has really kind of um, solidified and affirmed what I already feel as far as getting your basics. Like you guys know, I love a black cami, a black dress, a black t-shirt. I know a lot of, that gets on a lot of people's nerves, but it has to be your style. It has to be what you feel comfortable in. I do like mixing like red and blue and stuff like that too, but you know, just getting your style strategy and working with it. And um, let's see, let me see if I can find a good quote in here. It's a lot of quotes too from like famous people. Bling is over, red carpentry covered with rhinestones is out. I call it the new modesty. The fashion foundation, which is chapter three. But it's just fun. If you are like me and you just love everything about makeup and fashion and being girly, then you will enjoy these books. It's, um, we all need a splash of bad taste. It's no taste is what I'm against. And that was Diana, Diana Vreeland. Um, let's see, I always check in the mirror. I make sure nothing is see-through. That was from Scarlett Johansson. Just some different things. And uh, the important thing is to take your time and not get stressed from Diane von Furstenberg, which is one of my favorites. Hair and makeup. It says, in my opinion, hair and makeup are as much a part of your wardrobe as clothing and jewelry. And that's kind of how I feel because I already have a lot going on with hair and makeup, things that I love doing. I love like jewelry. I have gotten so into jewelry lately and earrings. I have I'm gonna have some more stuff like that coming. And I would almost rather wear a simple black dress or a simple outfit and then be able to accessorize with my hair and stuff like that. So wanted to mention these books again and the new one that I got just in case you like stuff like that too. A skincare item, it's from Good Molecules. Beautylish contacted me, and I think it was like a rep from Good Molecules at Beautylish, contacted me to see if I wanted to try any of their products. And they are similar to, it's like a, a bumped up, a little bit more glamorous and polished version of The Ordinary, but they just put good products. They're not 
not, everything's not gonna be in a big fancy bottle or smell so great or have a lot of advertising, but they put their money into their ingredients. And she sent me a box of goodies and out of that box of stuff, it was a primer. Oh gosh, the um, Good Molecules makeup remover. What am I trying to say? It's the um, balm. I'll put, I'll list it down below too because that is fabulous. And that's what really even made me discover this brand is I got a little one from, it's like a makeup remover balm. I got a little one from Beautylish when I ordered something one time, it was a sample, and I just could not believe how that stuff just disintegrated my makeup. So that is very good, but this is the Overnight Exfoliating Treatment, formulated with 10% AHA and BHA to resurface and renew. And she told me to only use this two or three times a week, and I said, well, you know, I'm pretty savvy to all of the glycolics and stuff, and let me tell you, it is serious. When I put it on, I feel like I'm at the esthetician getting a peel. It has that little, you know what I'm talking about, that little glycolic where it's almost itching and stinging a little bit, and then it lasts for about, I would say, a, a solid five minutes. Usually, I still feel it by the time I get into the bed, and I might even have to go like this a little bit, but it has worked. And I wanted to go ahead and tell you about this before I even try this, which is an, a similar product, but this is gonna be something that you put on and then you take off after 20 minutes. This is something that I just use. What I usually do is one night I'll do my Rafisa, which is my Retin-A. The next night I will usually maybe skip, unless, unless I feel like I need something, I will just put like on a moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer lately has been the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Miracle Cream. I love it, it's so smooth. To me, it smells like the beach. I don't know what's in it that makes me feel like it smells like the beach. It smells just a tiniest bit copper tone to me. And then like the next night, I will see my skin starting to look a little rough and maybe getting just a little flaky. And I will take a dropper of this, put it in my hands, and then just kind of press it into my face. And then the next morning, gosh, this is gonna be long. I thought it was gonna be a short video. Let me show you the next thing I've been loving. And then the next morning, I've been using this. So I use this, I end up using this about every other morning. And I, this is my second or third, I think it might be my third bottle of this. It's the Method Polish, normal to combination skin. And I used to use it in the shower and it's perfect because it's just easy. You don't, you're not scooping some out or anything like that. And I just, you can see where I just literally squeeze some out, you know, and you've got it in your hand and then you can close it up and you can put it back in like your shower caddy. I've been putting it like on top of my clear cube. And instead of worrying about getting my face wet, I know my face is clean in the morning. It's just whatever skincare I've had from the night before and from sleeping. What I usually do is take my hand, this hand in the warm water and then just kind of make a, you know, soften that scrub up and then I scrub like all over my face lightly. It's, it's a good, I think it's like a mineral scrub. And um, yeah, it's a daily use skin polish, skin resurfacing treatment. Uh, the first step in the Lancer method, formulated with two pronged approach exfoliation. This unique polish includes pure minerals and pumpkin and pomegranate enzymes to gently remove surface debris and dull dry surface cells. Uh, a warming element and lavender scent complete this luxurious daily ritual. It is fabulous, it really is. I mean, it's, I've used a lot of good scrubs and this one is something I can just wholeheartedly recommend and I think you would like. I'll pull you in for this one. The next thing is something, one of you guys noticed this in my, I think it was my, maybe my last Friday video and I was like, oh, that's so neat that somebody noticed. I have been loving these, these Lumify drops. And I almost forgot to use them today and I was getting my stuff together to bring out here and I was like, oh, I forgot to put those in. So I just put these in, you know, five minutes before we started this video. So, you know, 15 or 20 minutes ago, but I don't know if you can see how much brighter the whites are in my eyes. It is so good. Now I have some broken capillaries or whatever, like right in here. I remember looking back in the car one day and Will was in the car seat and he's blunt anyway. You know how children are, they're brutal. Sometimes I just can't imagine what's coming when they look at me. And he said, mama, 
And I said, what? And he said, you have roots in your eyes. <laughs> so I will say it has not made like those little places go away, but it does make them smaller. And it just makes your whole eye brighter and white, even in places you didn't think you even had any broken blood vessels. And I know someone is gonna say, Lisa, you need to get that checked. I do get my eyes checked all the time and I have specifically gotten that checked and there's nothing wrong. It's just part of what happens to your eyes, probably as you get older. Hey, lips. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse with these, but these Fit Glow glosses. I have one in my car that I use to kind of spruce up whatever lip combo I've had going that day. I can't remember what name it is, but I'll put it, it's, it's kind of like a milky pink one though. It would not be the first one I would get. If I had to tell you the first one to get and just try would be Bare, no, Buff. Buff is a good, like, mauve -y, my lips, but better type color. This overnight lip treatment, oh gosh, I wish I'd have had it sitting. It is, like, down to here. I thought to myself, they are going to bug out if I have an empty lip container in my empties, but I bet I will. I love this. I use it every night. It might not be, I might use it along with something else. Like, beside my bed, I have a, um, I think it's a Laneige overnight lip treatment that a lot of times I'll put on and I like it because I'll take what's left and put it on my cuticles. But this I have in a dish in my bathroom. This is one of those things real quick, you know, put on and go. Like at night after I brush my teeth, I always do it. In the morning after I brush my teeth. So it's just good, it's good. And then this is the one I have on today and I have on my Nude Sandals lip liner and I just did it lightly, and then this is one that's, it's called Bear, and it's one of the lightest, coolest ones. You know what I mean? It's the one of the most unique ones. It's a really, really light color for those of you like me that kind of like that light lip combo, and it's just really cool. I think this is one of the first ones I got when I ordered them because she has sent me some, but the first ones I actually ordered because I, it was when I asked Tammy what she had been crazy about, what had thrilled her, and this was one of them. So, love these. You've got to try them. I think, too, I've got a code that I can give you to get, I think, 20% off, and they're worth it. Another lip combo that I've been loving is this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Attitude Lip Liner. And when you first see it, you're gonna think, oh, it's so dark. And it is, it's kind of dark. And what I do is I do my whole lip and I ever so slightly shade in just a little bit, just so it's a nice, thick, shaded lip line, but I don't fill in all the way. And then take your favorite lip balm, the one I love with it the most is this little NARS Dolce Vita. And then kind of put this lip balm on with it and I'm gonna kind of Put it on so you can see and it just ends up being the best like hey you guys let's try to finish up my battery just ran out and so i charged it just a little bit but anyway i was telling you about this lip combo the best thing about it is the way it wears down throughout the day and it just gives you that look like you don't i mean like a stain it gives you a good stain and a good just perfect little um, darker than your lip tone look. You know what I mean? It's just perfect. So give this a try. And then this, you know, I've worn this for years and my mom wears it. And Kelly from Oliver just told me they got in the travel spray and the body oil. And it kind of reminded me of it. So I've been wearing this lately and I love it. It's just the best scent. It's just fresh. I don't know what it's got in it. It's the number four Bois de Ballancourt, and you just have to, re I'll put the notes, or I'll put the link down below, but I just love it. It's sexy, but light, but feminine, but not sweet and sickening. It's just perfect. And I think that's it. Oh, I got one more thing. The Laura Mercier. I've told you how much I love the, everybody loves the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I mean, we veer away from it, but it's always going to be in our you know, our little kit, our personal kit. This is the Glow, and I have been loving using it just as a highlight. Not all over, what I do is I just get some in my brush, 
just like that much and then put it on the tops of my cheeks and I feel like it doesn't really look like a highlight but it just gives your skin that really natural glow and if you're wanting just a little something but not a full-on highlighter I think you would love it and then I usually take what's left on the brush and do like my um, collarbone and everything Boy, I just feel so naked without my hair and love it you guys know I love that NARS palette. I thought about bringing it out here, but I was like, I've said that so many times, but that new NARS blush palette, that's what I have on today. Love it, it is so pretty. And I think that's it. I've got on just my typical uniform. I've got on, actually this is kind of new. Let me, let me go ahead and stand up. I barely have any battery left, but this is a little cami top. I like it, it's got some ribbing in it. I don't know if you can see, but it's also got a built-in bra, which I like, and I feel like it's not making me like boobs up to here or all squished in. And um, I got it just to have to wear with whatever. I love like little black camis. And then I've got on, of course, my black high-waisted New York & Company yoga pants and my favorite of all times, Wedge Avianas. And I'm going to today probably go get a manicure and a pedicure. So I wanted to put on something easy. And I just grabbed my like flowy jacket in case I needed something. I just love having this, especially, you know, when I'm more casual because it doesn't have, I don't think it has any buttons. It's just a nice long line H&M blazer. And, um, but it's, gonna, it's warm here. We're actually like 75 and sunny today. So, and it has a little bit of shoulder pads in it. And then for accessories, I have on some Sheila Fajal earrings, my name necklace, and a Sheila Fajal ring. Thank you guys for watching. My battery is like flashing right now, and I will see you tomorrow with my haul. See you then. Bye-bye.